I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 61. Today we're going to be looking at drawing a cube in 3D and vertex indices and see what those are all about. So jumping into our program here, what we're going to be doing is drawing a cube. So we now have a lot of vertices here. And we can see we have V1, vertex 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So each of those are corresponding to the first four here. Obviously, the W is just going to be 1 all the way down, so you're really paying attention just to the X, Y, and Z values of these in order to draw this cube. And it's all going from negative 1 to 1 space around the origin. You can ignore these. These are just going to be colors uh, as we're using multi-attributes per usual. To find a new uh, constant here called default indices, and what this is going to do is this is going to be the uh, the index buffer that we're going to be using. So you can see that each of these sets of three is a single triangle. So 0, 1, 2 is a triangle, and 0, 2, 3 is a triangle. And this makes up the front face of the cube. You can see 0, 3, 4, and 0, 4, 5 makes up the right side. 0, 5, 6, and 0, 6, 1 make up the upper side, the top. So you can see and so forth, they each make up these two triangles make up a side, make up a side, make up a side. We'll see how those are used in a moment. So you scroll down, everything is quite the same until we get down to our draw function. So we're going to be taking in some vertex indices here, otherwise defaulting. And we're also going to have changed our init vertex buffers here to grab the indices length. So we're now not drawing based off the number of vertex, uh, anything like, like that, or with stride uh, calculations, but the length of this array itself is going to end up being what this is set to, but uh, as you can see uh, down here, we're setting that vertex index to the indices, so this value here, which is passed in, is that same value. So you could not have to do all this uh, jumping around to get in. You could just say uh, vi.length, if you'd rather. Um, anyway, but this is what we're doing now. So we're grabbing the indices length, not all of the vertices. Um, the rest of this is all the same, so it should look familiar to you, as well as the rest of the in init vertex buffers is all the same. And the only reason I really did this is so that, that we could have the indices stored on this vertices object easily and make it kind of concise here. We're also changed render buffers where we're also passing in uh, these indices, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. So here's that render buffers now, and we have this indices here. We're now going to create a second buffer in WebGL called Integ buffer. And after we've iterated through the, all the attributes and done all that normal stuff, we're going to check if we have indices provided to us. We're going to bind buffer with an element array buffer rather than just uh, an array buffer. And we're going to give it the indices and the index buffer provided above. So that allows us to provide it with the elements within the indices, uh, of the indices that make up, um, given all of the vertices, all of the points that we need. It's kind of a mouthful. So uh, we're providing each of these vertices and the indexes of the vertices, so that way we can use this value over and over again, right here, and here, and here. Same with this one. We're using that over here and here. If we didn't do this, we would have to literally type out in our vertices every single triangle in sets of three. So this would be a triangle of three. We would have another triangle of three, another, another triangle of three, over and over again to make up all of the triangles. So this is a way to really save on memory so that you have just the indices loaded for points that you already know you're going to be drawing. So what's it all look like? And there's our cube. Um, you can kind of see what's going on with it. You can play with it a little bit. So uh, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, uh, like this video, share it on social media if you will, and go to uh, programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.